The next drill we're going to show you is one of our transition drills. It's called the flanker drill. And really what we're trying to teach the kids to do here is A, run hard on the wings, and then the person that has the basketball to make a good decision. We always try to kick the ball up ahead. And what we're going to have here is two people running down the wings as fast as they can. And the person with the basketball is going to try to kick it up after one or two dribbles to whoever's farthest ahead. You know, as we come down in a fast break, we need to recognize who's farther ahead, who has the advantage to try to get them the basketball. So the drill sets up like this. We need one wing in the corner here. We need another wing at the other corner. They are going to leave as soon as the coach or player kicks the ball and throws it off the board. Sarah with the ball in the middle. She or a coach is going to throw the ball off the board. As soon as it leaves her hand, they are going to leave and transition down the floor as quick as they can. Our rules for the wings are this. In this drill, we want them to practice running as wide as they can. They're going to run almost out of bounds around the sideline until they get to about the 10-foot volleyball line on the other side of the floor. Then they can start to angle in towards the basket. Sarah's job is pretty simple. She's going to go up and get the rebound, turn clear herself, take two maybe three dribbles at the most and then kick it up and we're going to score a layup down the other end and then all they're going to do is flip and come around or jog back and the next group goes. Okay, go. One, two, kick it up. Good. What we tell our kids to do if they beat the ball down the floor, they can just wait at the block for it. We don't want them to slow up. The other thing we tell our wings to do is not to look for the basketball until they get to half court. You know, for them to get on transition, the most important is their first three or four steps. And just like a track athlete, you don't look up right away. We want them to get their heads down, get to half court, and then when they get to about that other 10-foot volleyball, and they can look for it here, okay? You guys got to take off now. Ready? Go. Sprint, sprint, sprint. One, two. Kick it up, Paige. Good. Finish it. This also gives our kids a chance if, if they get out of step a little bit, they might go into reverse Mikan. They might have to use a crab dribble or... If the ball gets too far out in front of them, they might have to jump stop and bounce it to the other wing. So you get a lot of different things happening in this situation. All right, tee it, ready, go. Run, 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 run. And the other thing is, for our kids to get layups, they gotta run, they, we reward them for running down the floor. So if you're always the slowest person, you're never gonna get the ball and you just get conditioning in this. Okay, ready, go. Run, put your head down and go. Good, kick it up. And if she could have handled that, you know, the next pass is probably going to be to Sarah. And we don't worry about right now if our kids throw it off the wall a little bit. We want them to get used to kicking it up and running hard and making that pass. Okay, ready? Go. Now, another adjustment we'll make to this drill is instead of sending our people down the sidelines, we also have to get used to making a pass down the middle. So do this, okay? Get the passers here still. Now give me a line right underneath the basket. Okay, one line, so we have two lines. One with the basketballs, and the passers will be on the side. So now everything's gonna be the exact same, except for our line that's running for the layup is gonna start and run down the middle of the floor. So Lena, you start right in the middle of the floor, right here. Okay, and we'll start them at the volleyball line for this one. So everything's gonna be the same. I'm gonna throw it up to Shelby. She's gonna rebound. As soon as it leaves my hand, Elena's gonna turn and run. When she gets to about half court, she's going to turn and look over her shoulder. Most people are going to look over their right hand shoulder because they're right handed, but you know, whatever's comfortable. Then Shelby's job is to deliver a pass that she can catch. Now this has to have a little more touch on it. So we try to get our girls to throw it up a little bit so that they can run underneath it. If it's thrown too hard or a bounce pass, it's really difficult to catch in the middle of the floor. So this gives us just another way. Now, Elena might change how she shoots. She might have to get to the silo, but to shoot right-handed or left-handed, or we also work on our kids coming through and working on shooting right over the top or using the front of the rim. So this may come into play now too. All right, so it'll look like this. Ready? Okay, run, run Elena, go, go, go. One, two, kick it up, good. And that happens, which is fine, because we're trying to figure this out as we go here. Okay, I don't know. Okay, ready, go, run Paige, run. One, two, try to get Paige to keep running until she gets to the front of the basket, catches it good, finds out where she is. Okay, ready, go. Turn, one, two, kick it up. Good. Good job, way to get your feet. And that happens in a game. Kids get the ball underneath the basket. This teaches them to find their balance a little bit, figure out where they can get the basketball and go. We'll go one more time. Ready, go. Go, Sarah. Kick it up, one, two. 
Good. There we go. And again, we do this multiple times at the beginning of the year so kids get used to how much touch they have to get. This is a hard pass, but this is something we get a lot, especially when we press and things, we steal the ball. We end up getting somebody running down the middle of the floor. It's imperative that we're able to make that pass. All right, last time. Ready? Go. One, two. All right.